I'm going to share on confinement's do's and don'ts from a TCM perspective to help new parents understand what they should and should not be doing. I think the key here is moderation, getting enough rest. Especially the first two weeks, if you can, bed rest, but of course getting up, moving around the house for that circulation is important for recovery as well. Then how about going to the toilet? Me, don't wash your hands. No, right? So uh, moderation is the key. Minimize the contact, abstain, or if you wash your hands, then make sure you dry yourself thoroughly after that. Long and red tea is good because it replenishes a lot of uh, the ions and the minerals that we lose right, during the delivery process. But it does not mean that plain water is not allowed. Especially if you are taking your supplements, your medication, it's always best to take it with water, warm water. So my question here is, is nutrition important? It is, right? That's the foundation of our health and development. So especially more so for a mother who has gone through 10 months of pregnancy, labour process, so much changes in the body. Do you think that you should make an effort to prepare confinement food for yourself, for your loved ones, right? It does make a difference to their healing and recovery process. So, what is so unique about our confinement food and our confinement herb? There'll be these three phases. In the first week, you focus on the uterus recovery. In the second phase, you focus on digestion, mummy's digestion, okay? Last but not least is vitality booster. So, this is where the tonics come in. Our herbs are meant to be taken as a supplement. It comes in a powder form and capsule. So it is not the raw herbs for you to boil your soup or for you to shower, okay? So it is customized prescription. So means that you see the physician after you deliver. I hope you found that useful. Wishing you a happy parenting journey ahead.